Alex CU Viri Guide and we continue to explore Viri6 functions and features. Today we're going to talk about decals. This is an awesome way to add really cool details to your 3D renderings. As you can see here, we have crossing pedestrian paint here, we have graffiti, we have all of those cool little details like road cracks and, uh, and some dust on the side of a road. Everything is a projection of V-Ray decals. So let's go ahead and explore what we've got in V-Ray 6 because we have two options, one in Chaos Cosmos and another one in Quixel Bridge, which got way bigger library and I'm gonna show you how to do that manually, okay? So first thing first, let's open our 3ds Max 2023, and I'm gonna show you how we can use those auto options, just drag and drop inside our scene from Chaos Cosmos. So first thing is I'm going to create a V-Ray plane here, and we're gonna activate V-Ray, open Chaos Cosmos, and throw in some asphalt texture. As you can see, the asphalt is 100 centimeters. That means our UVW map is going to be 100 by 100. And now we can start bringing some decals. Again, I'm gonna go back to Chaos Cosmos. And inside our materials, we'll be able to find decals. So this is what we've got right now. Of course, this library is going to be, uh, more things going to be added to it. So let's just explore this one. I'm going to export the handicap sign. And you can see when I'm exporting, actually dropping this cool texture inside my material slot. And I'm going to export uh, this decal as well, the road crack, and let's get some of this, maybe this one. Let's download the street marking arrow, and I'm going to export this one as well. Okay, now I'm back in my scene, so first let's fix uh, this sign, it's looking slightly big. Going to rotate those and as you can see they already coming in as as a decal V-Ray decal and they all have names they all have parameters and what we can do here let me just add some lights I'm gonna go down to HDRIs Drops, drop some day HDRI on this and I'm going to make a camera from this view so click on very physical camera icon camera is created now V-Ray viewport I'm gonna start my IPR and voila we already have those cracks uh, road markings up and running very cool thing so we can play with the order of those if I select this road marking the arrows and I'm gonna bump it up to level one you can see it goes above my uh, handicap sign marking now if I select my handicap you can see it's order zero if I put it up on level two is going on top of the arrows so that's how you can arrange them if you want some decals to go on top of the other ones okay now again this library at the moment is a little bit limited I'm pretty sure Chaos is going to add more decals to it but as for now it doesn't have much so in order to see how we can work manually I have to go and switch back to max 2022 because this plugin is still uh, was not updated for max 2023 so I'm going to open max 2022 in order to show you this how this is working 
and I actually need to close my max 23 in order to avoid some uh, collision with the exports from Quixel Bridge. All right, so I'm gonna double click and open my Quixel Bridge and get my max 2022. Now I already have here plane with the sun camera and if I click render, uh, that's what we see on ground. So let's go and add some decals. I'm gonna scroll down to V-Ray, V-Ray decal. I'm just gonna drag and drop this one right here okay so you can see it says no material and uh, I'm gonna switch to my slate material editor and go to uh, Quixel bridge scroll down to those decals and let's find some cool decals that we can add I'm gonna add this one uh, painted pedestrian crossing so if everything been set up here and your export settings has to be on 3ds max you can click export again you need to select first the decal that you want to import that on and now click export here and boom it was successfully exported it's right here the only problem is when it's dropping from quixel it adds this displacement so you can just delete that one and uh, if we do a quick render We'll be able to see that decal right here appearing okay very cool stuff very easy to use so we should just drag it to the side we'll be able to make that road okay now let's go and see what else we've got here I'm going to add another V-Ray decal on the side here I actually want this one to be a line so let's go and get some line road markings line and while the decal selected click export again it comes with a displacement which I'm going to delete and voila I have right here my road markings so I can duplicate that with the instance and if we click render we'll be able to see a cool looking line all right what else we've got here we've got some really nice cool details things like graffiti we have uh, mud splash so those cool things you can actually put that the mud splash you can put that on the car let's try to get some car from our uh, Chaos Cosmos. Let's do vehicles. Let's get this pickup truck. Because most likely the pickup trucks are gonna get dirty. So I'm going to export that. And now we've got our pickup truck. And here let's try to add some cool decal on the side so what I'm gonna do is go to my V-Ray decal and let's see where did we put it I'm gonna make one from top like that and now rotate it and let's put it on the side of the vehicle I'm gonna lift it up a little bit like that now let's go and add this mud splash I'm going to download it first once it's downloaded let's click on export and boom we've got our mud splash is in this all right let's click render see how this looks oops i need to go to my camera okay uh, let's do we don't see that well because let's 
take that and the, this truck and let's rotate it and let's go from another side from here we'll be able to see it much better okay you can see pretty cool stuff we can make a lot of you know those stickers you know bumpers we can make a lot of custom stuff uh in collision we have like damage on the cars we can we can get that too we can really make that car dirty if we want to you know we can fill it up with a lot of um, mud splashes and just duplicate that select select something new let's do uh Let's do some bigger splash of mud, something like this. Mud splash, click export, and voila, we've got our second mud splash ready to go. bigger <laughs> all right so you can see super easy to use very useful if you want to do some cool road markings if you're trying to do some um, details for the pedestrian crossing all of that stuff is just uh, made in clicks with uh, easy projection of decals you can use it manually you can use it through cows cosmos just drag and drop showed you both ways and we'll be adding more of those cool tutorials in our upcoming very six guide so make sure to follow this is alex your very guide thanks for watching talk soon